Howdy there. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to talk about uh, moving from FTP to Git, uh, a designer's guide to deployment. Uh, basically, uh, you probably, if you're if you're watching this, you probably already know Git or have heard of it or are interested in it at least. Um, and you know, you know that it can do version control and be awesome and keep your stuff backed up and all that stuff. Um, but the question is, what good is moving to Git if you can't? deploy it from the actual uh, repository to your server to where people are going to get the files and whatnot. Um, so this, this screencast is going to be about uh, uh, deploying from Git with all sorts of free services, all free services, and it's going to be aimed to be very user-friendly, um, designer-friendly. You don't have to know a bunch of crazy command line jujitsu to get things done. Um, it's all very straightforward and um, uh, easy to do. So uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go and download Git. I've already downloaded Git to this computer, um, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. They'll give you this little package file. You hit continue, install, it'll ask for your password. It'll take a couple seconds to install, and it'll say, okay, sweet. And now that it gets installed, we have to create a, uh, a repository where we want to do that. Before we do that, if you don't know Git, um, I would highly recommend checking out this try.github.io. Um, get familiar with it. It's the best uh, intro to Git that I've seen. Um, and it uses you know command line stuff, which is awesome. Um, and it's really simple, really straightforward, really user-friendly. Um, it's it's doing stuff with this fork or this spoon knife uh, repo. I would recommend going through this try.github.io site a couple of times and then actually doing some um, forking and cloning of this spoon knife repo on your own just to get a feel for what's going on. Um, it's really, really simple and uh, it's something that everyone can do. Um, alternatively, if you don't like the command line, you're absolutely against it. Um, you know, you can always check out GitHub. Um, they have they have clients for both Windows and Mac. Um, there's also Source Tree, which is free, which you can use with any Git repository. Um, and they have extensive documentation on the subject. Um, for this little demo, I'm going to be using Bitbucket because it gives you unlimited free private repositories. Um, and uh, we're gonna keep. We're gonna just deploy from a private repo um, to our server. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a uh, new repo. So we go up here, hit create. I'm gonna just call it Screencast Deploy Demo, and we can leave these settings alone. Make it private. Use Git, whatever. We're gonna have HTML and CSS because we're simple just for this uh, demo. So now it wants us to add some code. Uh, we've already set up Git on our machine. Um, what it's telling us is to make a directory for our project, go to that directory, make a Git directory, and then um, add our add Bitbucket as our, uh, our place where we're gonna, we're gonna keep it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the terminal, in my case, iTerm, um, and you can basically see where you are by typing PWD, it stands for Print Working Directory. Um, you can see what's in that directory by typing ls. Um, and we see that there's a sites folder, so I'm going to change directory into the sites folder by typing cd sites. And um, in this directory I'm going to say, okay, make a directory, mkdir, um, and we're going to call it the same thing as our repository on Bitbucket, which is uh, screencast deploy demo. So um, we just made a directory, now we want to cd into it. So we can cd screencast, and I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete. <clears throat> All right, now we're in our directory, right? Um, we're in our directory. We want to say, okay, make this a Git uh, repository. So we type git init. It says, bam, it initialized the Git repository, awesome. Now we got to link this uh, folder up with our Bitbucket re repo on the web. So I'm going to paste this in, hit enter, and we've just done that. 
So the next step is to add some files to our our our, uh, our uh, uh, repo. Um, it's telling us we can make a README file. I'm just I've already got a nice little index.html file going on, so I'm going to save that uh, to our little um, our little uh, directory here. Call this index. HTML save. Um, so now we check this out. Uh, if we type git status, that tells us what's going on in Git. It says, oh, you have untracked files, index.html. So we got to add it. So git add index.html. Enter. All right, we've just added it to be committed. So now that we've added it, we can commit it. Git commit. Give it a message. Minus M message. And say first commit of index file. Hit enter. Now our files are committed, but they're still on our local machine. So we got to push them up to uh, up to GitHub or up to Bitbucket. So we say git push uh, minus u origin master. And if this is your first time pushing to GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever, it's going to give you an error when you hit enter. So when it says permission denied public key, that means that uh, you have not added a, any SSH keys to um, Bitbucket or GitHub so that they're allowed to talk to each other. Don't worry, this is not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to show you how to make that work right now. So if you Google um, GitHub SSH keys, generating SSH keys. GitHub has some uh, documentation on the subject. And um, I've actually already generated some SSH keys uh, beforehand. So I'm going to open up a new little new tab over here. I'm going to change directory into my um, SSH folder. Um, and this is actually a hidden folder, thus the, the period in front of SSH. Um, so after you do this, you just essentially copy and paste this and put your email in right here, um, and it'll lead you through the steps to do it. It takes a couple of seconds. Um, so when that's done, if you run an ls, you'll see that you have this id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub. That dot pub file is the one that you want. That's your SSH key that you want to upload to Bitbucket or GitHub. So let's go ahead and open that id.rsa.pub. We can say open dot, and that's going to open the directory of where this is. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and say, OK, I'm going to open this in Sublime or your favorite text editor. Copy and go back over to um, my account settings, my manage account, whatever. Go to SSH keys, add key. Um, this is my work laptop. Uh, I usually like to give it a date as well. Um, so today is the 30th. And um, so, yeah, let's do that. And we're going to paste our key in here. So one thing to note is it's very much sensitive to spaces and carriage returns. Um, you notice in the file that we just saw, I had two lines, and it probably only is just one. So I just remove that line. I'm going to add key. If if your if your key is wrong, it'll tell you. Um, you know, it's usually just a, a case of uh, making sure you have the right uh, spaces and whatnot. So um, go back to the repository real quick. So we still don't have the file up here because we got to push it up to Bitbucket. So I'm going to go back to where we're working over here. Um, I can hit up to uh, go to the last command. So that's git push minus u origin master. Let's try this one more time. Perfect. So it looks like it's working right now. It's pushing this index.html file up to uh, Bitbucket. And as soon as this is done, we're going to go over here to Bitbucket and refresh. So it just finished pushing. So we're going to go back to Bitbucket, refresh. Sweet, we've just uh, put this index.html file up here and we can check it out. It's right here. Awesome. 
So the service that we're going to use to deploy our changes from, from uh, uh, Bitbucket is called Deploy Button. It's completely free. Um, you just sign in and you can connect it with Dropbox, Bitbucket, and GitHub. Um, I've already done the former two, so I'm going to set up a new project. We're going to say, okay, I'm going to deploy with SFTP. You're going to put in the same um, credentials that uh, you use for your uh, uh, FTP or SFTP um, client. And it's asking for the path to my uh, repository. I don't remember that off the top of my head, so I've just got this up over here via my SFTP client. Um, I've also made a directory right here. You can put this anywhere on your site you want. I just happen to put it right here. Paste that in. It's going to check and see if it can connect to it. Um, sweet. So we're going to go to Bitbucket and see if we can find our, refresh our folder list here, see if we can find our um, repos and whatever. Screencast deploy demo is one we want. Select and proceed. It's going to ask us to put uh, to use a branch. Um, by default, Git uses a master branch, so we're going to use that one. So it's just checking access whether it can connect to Bitbucket and whether it can connect to your server via SFTP at the moment. Um, after this, it'll present us with a sweet button that will allow us to deploy our project to our server. And here we go. All we got to do is hit deploy. Um, usually it takes less than 30 seconds for small projects to deploy. It doesn't take that long at all. Um, I would recommend if you have like a CMS with a lot of files, you probably should like get ignore the core CMS um, and just track the ones that you're editing. So now it's deployed. It's saying it went up in a second or so. Um, we're going to check our uh, domain. So this is the directory that it was in. This is before when it didn't have any files. If I go and refresh this page, boom, there it was. Right now, it's just been successful in deploying from our repository. So we just deployed from Bitbucket to our server, um, you know, and everything is, is good to go. We just did it. So just for demonstration purposes, let's go and make a quick change to this, uh, this file right here. So it's no longer 920, so I'm going to put 933 in here, save it, and if we go back to our terminal, um, we type a git status. It says, oh, something's been modified, so we got to say, okay, we want to git add index, git commit with a message, And we're going to git push. So I can just hit up the up arrow key to go back to our git push origin master. And it's going to push that to Bitbucket. We'll go over to Bitbucket and make sure that everything um, pushed up OK. We see the commits. We just updated our time. We go back to deploy button and check out our, uh, our, our, uh, uh, our stuff here we want to go and deploy it again and we just click deploy again it'll take roughly you know 30 seconds or so maybe less to deploy basically it's going to check and see what's there right now what's changed it's going to grab the latest code and send that to your server so it says oh index is index.html change um, you know it took like a couple seconds to do let's check this out refresh the page and bam 933 we just deployed everything and it's all good to go all right so that's pretty much it i uh, hope you've enjoyed the screencast please check out the blog post on adamjohnsondesign.com and uh, uh, I'm, i'll see you soon